Hey, what's up everyone? Vegetarian Zombie here, and I want to welcome you back to my Let's Play of Seven Days to Die. When we last left off, we were up on those cliffs there, and we were sort of looking down at this new batch of glorious terrain generation, and uh, I figured we could do a little looting before we did any of our, our survival preps. And we had noticed there was a couple houses over here, so let's check out these houses and see what we can find out. Naturally, this is locked because everything is locked in this world. All right, let's see if we can get in here. So I gotta say, I am getting a little bit nervous. We're reaching the dog horde, and uh, ooh, look at this, we got a book, nothing in here. Blech. And uh, that, you know, that does really make me nervous. Dogs, I, I'm just currently in no way, I'm in no basic way to, or shape to survive these zombies. And the dog horde gets me nervous. And um, actually the siege, the seventh day, seventh day horde is getting me nervous too. So, what I want to do is get as, get as much looting as we can, and then what I'll probably be doing is basically um, cutting down a lot of trees so this way we can basically set up our wooden log spikes and everything like that. Is this a car? Oh, wow. That's pretty interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! <laughs> you hear those footsteps, you're always thinking they're right behind you. But I was reading... Um, in regards, all right, we're going to retake that last bit, starting three, two, one. As for questions about defense, Ray came up with the idea of creating a little little house before my stairs. Basically, keep the stairs as they are, and then basically setting up, creating a little house that the zombies would have to break through. And I think that's a really good idea. In fact, that's what I think we're going to do. And come on, open. I, I don't get this icon here. What, what, what's the deal with that? All right, let's see what we can find in here. Any good stuff? Ah, bottled water. We can always use bottled water. And of course, this is one of these houses in here that you can fix. And maybe in the playthrough, we'll do this sometime, is fix one of these places up, make it make it worth living in. But right now, this is a dump, and we're not gonna stay here much longer. But the doors are unlocked, yay. Anything else? All right, and you can see up there, that's what we were looking down. I thought this was, that was an, a nicer house that had better loot, but Evidently not. In fact, around here, this is, uh, it's not a lot going on here. But I do like the grass. I do like all the, the terrain and stuff. It's, it's nice. It's such a nice place to live. And you can see here, we got the, those cliffs from the last, the last generation. <laughs> I'm not too sure how long I'm going to be down here again. I'm just checking out any of the, the, the buildings I saw. And I, I don't really seem to be seeing anything else. Oh, that looks interesting over there, guys. Huh. Looks like we stumbled upon a little city. And look at this. We've got some coal. All right. Where's our... Where's our groaner motor? I'm getting low on arrows. And uh, we have some... Uh... Oh, you took that one to the face. All right. Let's see. Let's take it out. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Not again. Oh, jeez, I hate these bears. Thank you, I get skilled in archery. But it's not gonna help me much. Ah! I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding and I'm about to die. Goodbye, wellness. Goodbye, life. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, forged iron. Oh, jeez. And here we have, finally, we found my backpack. Yay! <laughs> wow. I gotta tell you, I do not like bears in this game. And like I mentioned, maybe what I can do is find a mod to get rid of them. They're just, yeah, they're just super annoying. Okay. One thing we need to do is I ran out of arrows. We're gonna need some iron arrows. Thankfully, I have a bunch. And the next thing we're gonna need is uh, this bow. We can probably craft a better one now at this point. So let's put this in the queue, and hopefully we're not going to find anything. Now, I was going to head back and work on my uh, work out my defenses on my base, but this, this city looks far too interesting to ignore. So let's just sort of uh, take a little peek, see what we can find. What was nice is I found that stash of coal before the bear eat my face off, and it'd be nice if we can find that again. Is that it right here? Oh, perfect. All right, what we're going to do here is I'm going to, let's see if we can open up our map. 
And uh, let's add a waypoint. We'll save this waypoint. We'll just call this. You know, these all are related to buildings. It'd be nice if they had other icons as well. We'll just call this coal. Save it. No? Okay, here we go. Coal. Like that. Perfect. Okay, we'll come back. Again, this is just a simple reconnaissance mission. Hopefully, we're not going to... Is that my, is that our bear friend over there? It's hard to tell. It could be. Looks like it. Or is that a pig? <laughs> Again, hard to tell. Some of these... It's funny. Some things are really high res and looks great. And other things, not so much. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Our, you know, it'd be nice if I had my a working bow right now. I don't think I've been seen yet. Right, yeah, so let's walk around here. It'd be great if we could find like a tool shed, like uh, like one of those hardware stores. Okay, what do we got here? Perfect. 42 arrows. I like it. And we got our bow right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, we don't need these. Oh wait, these are the pants I was wearing. <laughs> be nice to wear pants look at this we got our bow bow is 47 let's arm these up now i forgot how we add our let me see i hold down r what this is it right here yeah look at this place this is a depressing place i must say and uh we don't want to stay too late here oh <laughs> already worth it Right here. Look at that. Wow. That is awesome. And part of the reason, um, I mean, I have all my stuff, so we're not gonna make we're not gonna make this journey too extensive, and it's also getting kinda late. And where I am is really far away. And I'm also really chicken. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to, guys. I am a coward. And this is terrifying to be in a city like this. All right, can we go into there? No. And you know what's funny? There's just not a lot of zombies. God, I am th I am pressing my luck. Ooh, what happened to this city? This city was destroyed by a force unknown, my man. It would be nice to come in here, though, just clean this place up, you know? Like, rebuild these apartments and areas and clear out the residents. <laughs> This guy is completely oblivious. I just shot him in the back twice. He's like, eh, whatever, dude. I'm on my... All right, if you want my attention. Come on, come on, shoot him in the head. Oh, that was that was pretty terrible. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. These guys. All right. <laughs> Three hours later. I love how they die. They just kind of spaz out. They do a spin and then flop on their back. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we have uh, a shotgun messiah. Pretty nice. That's what we're looking for right here. All right, we're going to take a quick peek in here, and we're going to have to obviously come back at a later date. Getting a little jaggies here. Oh, this is another shotgun messiah. I thought this was a... Yeah, I thought this was... A working stiff tools. Okay. Well, since we're since we're here, we might as well say hello. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez, my pickaxe is almost, is almost done. Alright, we have to repair this. There we go. I'm wondering if it's getting so late whether I should just stay out here. That does bring about the question about the dogs. <laughs> the roving dog wolves that I've been paranoid about. If I do my math... Yeah. It might just be safer to be out here. Oh my god. There we are. Woo! Heck of a nice day. Oh, we don't need bullet casings, but thank you. 
Anything in here? No. Any books? We could use books for sure. Nothing in here. Okay, here's our first crate. Let's see if we can find some good stuff. And I'm just gonna leave the paper. I hear I hear footsteps. Right, let's see what we got. Nothing! You get nothing! Ah! Very disappointed. What is this? Ooh! Ammunition book. We'll read this. And let's see. All recipes known. Crap! It's all crap! Alright, let's see what we got in here. Magnum grip. I'm not too sure if that's going to help us much. I don't think I have any of the, the magnum parts, or I'm not too sure I'll have to do take some stock when we can get back. It'd be nice if we could find a fully functional gun so that we don't necessarily have to build it. Pistol grip, we don't need this. Pistol barrel, we can take that. In fact, we can just put this one in here. Why don't I take the shopping basket? Ah, be quiet. And we'll chop this one up here too. Oh wait, I can just open this up. Yay! Hunting gun receiver. All right, guys, we got another thing to crash our way through. Nice. Okay, we are in. I have a feeling this is where we're going to spend the night. It's just a little too dangerous at this point to head back. And I have plenty of wood, so I can arm basically... Oh, jeez, I hate these things. We can basically arm or basically block ourselves off in here. But before we do that, let's check out this other area here. Oh, the door's unlocked. <laughs> you know, it's just by habit you do that. <laughs> oh, vitamins. Definitely use vitamins. And I hear something walking outside. I need to find uh, one of those shops. What is it? Uh, Popping pills, so we can get our increase our stam stamina. Because right now it is not looking good. All right, we'll take this, or maybe not. Ah, go away. <laughs> duct tape. You know, I'm not too sure what you need duct tape for. I haven't used it, but we'll take it anyway. And we'll take that can. What's in the toilet? Murky water. That is nice. Ooh, we will take this. And we'll take that, we'll leave the sandwich, and more murky water. This is great. And, ah, can use the wrench. So we'll take this and we'll, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of that too. Awesome. Now we have to be very quiet. Just sneak in over here. And then we'll just go through the last of these boxes. What I'll do is I'll... Oh, that's the time, guys. I'm stuck out of sight. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uncover all these boxes first, and then we'll go through them and see what we can, see what we can dig up. Also, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to block off the door there, just in case. Okay, I've pretty much opened up everything out here and uh, we'll go through them uh, one at a time. As you can see, it's pretty dark. I don't have a torch on me. At least I don't think so. I don't have any light. So I'm just going to up this in post if uh, uh, we got the creepy music. All right, so let's check out this box and see what we can find. Nothing. <laughs> How about this box? Anything? Nothing. This is great. So that's two for four. This one here. Oh, okay. We got a... Oh, it doesn't sound good. Oh, jeez. We got problems. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! Oh, jeez! I did not expect this! Ah! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I think I found the dog lord. <laughs> well, that was pretty terrible, guys. And uh, let's hope they don't come here. Well, anyways, I think that's a good place where we can end the episode. Um, in the next one... Oh, let's close this door. The next one, we're going to head back, get my stuff, close the door, and uh, recover our stuff. And hopefully uh, we're not going to die too much in the process. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you then.